You love the Crate Mark II, but something just isn't right. Maybe you hate having that extra large hardpoint. It could be that some of your internal module slots are just that one size too big. Perhaps you don't like your cockpit color and crave the luxurious look of rich burgundy. And maybe you just want to live out your Millennium Falcon dreams and have that long strip of thrusters at the back. Well, here at Falcon DeLacy, we have heard your feedback and now have addressed all these problems and have incorporated them into the all-new Crate Phantom. Seriously, am I missing something here? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills and wondering why on earth would I buy a Crate Phantom when the Crate Mark II seems to have more flexibility and build options. You know, if these ship releases would be in real life, Beside the gross incompetence, the class action lawsuits against the Lacey and the ensuing labor strikes from the Britain 70s, the general ship releases would make as much sense as the AAA gaming industry. And yet today, the Lacey engineers and the underpaid slave workforce has brought us the Crate Phantom, a ship that raises more questions than boners in ugliest dog competition. Maybe it's made from the crates that the Crate Mark II came in. Sorry, never mind, go on. Coming with a 37 million price tag, sure, you might think it's great. Sure, it's a cheaper crate, and crate originally was just a reskinned python, so a cheaper python sounds great. Well, yeah, it kinda is, but it's not all sunshines and daisies around the nuclear waste pile. You know, just like with Alliance special needs kids that Lacon squirted out like an undesirable abortions, I could just copy paste the description of this ship here too, since it is exactly the same ship model. Still, unlike the laziness of the artist who made this decision to copy paste things, I have integrity and will make unique scripts. Isn't that the same but differently worded paragraph from the Alliance Crusader review? Oh, fuck! It is! See? This laziness is like a fucking virus. Unknowingly, I've caught that I can't be bothered to be original. Disease that plagues 90% of the fucking deviant art. But seriously, the Phantom from outside has really only two changes. The cockpit has been shrunk like a penis in an ice bucket, and the back engines lost one stack of trio unit... uh... thing. Why were you looking at my pants when you said that? Mmm, yes, I'll be very technical today. Though there is one thing that I don't get about this ship. It has these weird engine trails that I can only assume to be produced by Guardian Tech, since it resembles what Guardian Fighters have. Yet nowhere, in or outside of the game, have developers ever mentioned this or even hinted at any sort of connection. And while people speculate Phantom to be a hybrid, by lore it does not seem to be. Unless someone at the company forgot to do their job and mention or even hint at this connection. But okay, if it's not a hybrid, then why? Why does it have these unique engine trails? No other ship in the game has them, aside from the fighters. So why this ship and why now? See, this is the problem with elite lore and narrative delivery. They think that the fucking paragraph of nothingness is good enough whoa, to- Whoa, 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 slow down, take a chill pill, relax. It's not all bad, I kind of like the look of the interior. It's rich burgundy colouring, makes me feel like on the set of a 70s porn shoot. I just wish there was some shag carpeting, some Andy Warhol paintings on the bulkheads, and lots of mood lighting and possibly even a mirror ball. Couple that with some music ripped straight from a sticky video cassette with the smudged out name of Docking with Debbie written on the side, and we'd have my ideal cockpit. I mean, no matter how much questionable fluid gets splashed onto the cockpit window, you're guaranteed to always have a great view of the outside galaxy, of course. Not to mention it'll make all those planetary exploration orgy missions much more easier to navigate thanks to the low-slung cockpit. And yes, pun intended. Right, but is it more comfortable to perform all the Kama Sutra acts upon a humanoid or some sort of weird feral creature in here rather than in one of the South Kruger ships? Yeah, I don't think so. But you get extra with Phantom that the luxury class pimp mobiles don't is a Rubik's Cube and an Edgelord worthy looks. But it's rustic, warm, like a brandy glass filled with rich amber liquid and just a hint of semen smid on the outside of the glass. Or is that on the inside? Anyway, Sound Kruger ships are too antiseptic and cold. Sorry, I'm interrupting you again. P please continue. Well, hey, on the bright side, unlike with the Crate 2, there are less ghetto fix like attempts with wires from a ship that just came out, both in real time and lore time. I mean, sure, if you want to choke yourself to sleep every day while traveling, Crate 2 is your thing. But everyone else who wants to go about their day without breathing restrictions or tripping hazards should choose Phantom. Coming from a mostly combat background, I could say with absolute honest ambiguity, the Crate Phantom is okay. And? 
What, you want more? Hmm, okay. Uh, oh, well, it handles pretty good. It's quite maneuverable, but the Mark II is pretty good too. This isn't going well, Jones. Did I mention the cockpit is burgundy colored? Oh, I did. Hmm. <sighs> Look, to put it bluntly, if you're caught in a fight, the Phantom should do well enough to get you out of trouble, kinda. If you combat fit it, well, you're going to do a bit better, just with one less large hardpoint and no ship launched fighter. So it'll take you a bit longer to kill the target whilst opening yourself up to other enemy ships. Well, that's not good, is it? Hey, at least you can turn your head and look at your two medium hardpoints firing. Pew, pew, pew. You can do that in Mark 2-2. Two, two. I mean, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, whatever. Oh, 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 I got it. Having one less large hardpoint means you won't be discharging the weapons capacitor so much, so you can fire weapons for longer, which you will kind of need to as you have one less large weapon. Why did I even ask you to help me on this? Because no one else wanted to? I don't know. I can't see why I would pick the Phantom over the Mark II unless A, I didn't have enough funds, or B, had an emotional preference to the Phantom, such as visual design or other perceived preference. Hmm, you know, you're right. Well, from a combat psycho acid come shooting wanker perspective, if you just think a bit more differently and more positively, the ship has also less optional slots, less shields, less armor, yet the same hitbox, slightly more speed and maneuverability, and less cargo space. It's slightly lower priced than a crate Mark Poo, I mean, two. So basically, it's almost all around worse. Yay! positivity. Realistically, for the price, Clipper still comes out with a victory and a fabulous exit as well. And they're in the same sort of a boat called USS Lazy Ship Design or Multirole. The weapons are the same, yet most of the important bits on the Clipper are just better. Though with the fucking navy rank, I suppose the price drop was in order. Okay, so that's why Phantom does not sound that well, literally and figuratively. And yes, I'm saying that I don't fancy the noise that they call boost sound for the ship too. Anyways, Phantom has one and only one ace up its liposucked butt cheeks, the jump range. In fact, this aspect of the ship is so good that it ranks number three in the furthest jumping ship list. Yes. Phantom jumps further than Asp Explorer, looks better, and can carry more sex slaves to the deepest, darkest corners of the universe. Folks, me thinks we have witnessed the Asp Killer birth here. Which is to say for the densest members of the audience, this ship is good for zoom zoom jump jump in the pretty things, if the price tag does not scare you. Oh, and if you get it, I'm pretty sure that you will be skilled enough not to ram the ship into a planet. <coughs> If you want a slightly damaged photocopy of an already existing ship that is way better, just so you can get your Millennium Falcon rocks off, this is the ship for you. Don't get me wrong, it's nice having a choice, but I wish we had a fewer photocopies of existing ships and focus more on quality instead of quantity. That being said, I'm still getting one just for that damned cockpit. Frontier, I want a shag pack I can download from the store. For a more authentic feel, open up Pornhub and play some videos in the background and crank up the volume as you fly around. It'll make flying through the mail slot even more phallic and inappropriate. Just don't leave a mess on the landing pad. Seriously, don't. They really don't like it. You try and mop up an entire landing pad. R right. Well, I know that Chipiapu's cock, I mean cook orbital, hasn't forgiven me for leaving all the dead horse corpses out when I left, but that's another story. So, the Phantom. Well, I tend to go with following logic. Python is fucking amazing. Great 2 was basically Python, but slightly, oh, ever so slightly worse with a fighter. And Phantom is basically Crate 2 with a downgrade in order to price cut, yet gaining one amazing attribute that is FSD. Uh, I would take the Crate Mark Poo over the Python though. Python is, well, more suited to the terminally beige. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know what I'm hearing right about now? Heresy! So much heresy, I need a tactical planetary system exterminatus to erase it! So by that moon logic that I pulled out of my ass with the massive force, Phantom is just a worse python for less moonies. And frankly, that still sounds like a massive endorsement to me. And basically, it's the new asp, so everyone, throw out your asps and get this. Let's make screenshots, pretty again, with phantoms in front of things. Which, now that I think of it, would make for a great phrase for the ship. The Phantom Menace. Which strangely enough is what my wife calls my penis. Oh, you gods! Oh, you gods! What? Uh, oh, I can't even watch! 
Oh, ow, ow! No, no, that's it. That's I'm not filming this. God damn it, that's bad. Oh my god, I only now notice the god rays that are in the screen. Oh my gosh, they're so ugly. Whoever thought that the goddamn god rays are really cool? Really? God damn it! Fuck! Okay, try number two. Oh, damn it! Fuck me!